this is a reminder that I'm not a lawyer or an accountant. I'm definitely not your lawyer or your accountant. I don't even play one on TV. So everything I'm going to say in this video, that's the disclaimer. But I've been getting the question more often of, do I need an LLC to publish my book? And I'm going to be answering that again today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK. I'm an author and I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into the details of today's topic, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be notified every week as I put out videos about publishing, making a career to being an author, and now being a mompreneur. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've been self-publishing books since 2015. I have a dozen self-published books out. Um, and in 2023, I signed with an agent to try and get my first book traditionally published in that vein. So at the top of every video, I'm letting the audience know, who is this for? Self-publishing authors, traditionally publishing authors, all authors, no authors. Um, this is a question that I think all authors, self-published or traditionally published, ask at some point or another. Obviously, when you are traditionally publishing, you have an agent and a team you can also ask these questions to, which is very helpful. Um, but do I need an LLC as an author? And so the answer here, I would say, is yes and no. So I'm going to tell you a bit about my story, and then hopefully this will help you figure out for yourself. So like I said, I started self-publishing in 2015. I did not set up an LLC until 2019. Um, now, that is for a few reasons. Um, now, you, there's no entity. There's nowhere where you're uploading to Amazon if you're self-publishing or you are filling out paperwork for traditional publishing where they say you must have an LLC or, or this entity will come and take away your book and everything will be lost. Like there's no person who requires you to have an LLC. There is no outside organization or overseer who requires it. Okay. So there's no requirement anywhere to be an author that you have to have an LLC. That is not a thing putting that out there because I know there are scams. There is the sense that as you become more established as an author, as you have more royalties, or as you maybe are personally just doing better financially, the LLC becomes more of a personal requirement. Um, now, this is something that I picked up when I was listening to the Dave Chesson Kindlepreneur podcast like a decade ago, and the analogy really stuck with me. Um, and so let's say you're in a fender bender. Bummer. And it's your fault. Yikes. So this person whose car you've hit rightfully would probably be like, hey, you got to fix my car. If you're also a very successful author, they might say, hmm, I know there's more assets or their lawyer might say, hmm, there's more assets to go after. So the LLC is a limited liability corporation. OK, so you are limiting the liability. So that means if you do something on the personal side, like you get into this fender bender, they can't come after your book income, right? There's this wall. They can't come after it. It's behind the wall. Same thing with, say, you're an author and somebody accuses you of plagiarism. Doesn't matter that it's not true. You still have to defend yourself from it, okay? They can't come after your 401k or your life savings. They can only come after what's in the business, okay? So the LLC sets up this entity that says, if you're trying to go after this person for personal things, you can't come after the business. And if you're going after this person for business reasons, you can't go after the personal things, okay? So again, that's where as you have assets to protect either within the business or outside the business that it becomes necessary. There is no, no reason for you as a first time author to stop everything, stop the presses and make sure you have an LLC set up beforehand. Like it's fine. You'll be fine. You can set it up later. I set mine up almost four years after I started self-publishing um, and I was able to transfer all the IP into my company. Like done. And that was after I taught, I thought I needed one. I talked to an accountant to confirm that I needed one. I will say I usually recommend asking an accountant versus asking a lawyer. A lawyer, asking a lawyer if you need an LLC is like asking a barber if you need a haircut. They have seen all the ways things have gone wrong. Of course, they're going to tell you, yes, you need an LLC. Um, I think an accountant's going to give you a better idea of, well, what are the assets? What can people really go after? They will also know the fees for your state. So I happen to live in a state where the fees and application to start an LLC are a very low barrier. Um, it was still like a hundred and something dollars to set it up. I still have to pay, I think, 140 something every year to renew it. So like when you're just starting out and you have all these other expenses, not, you might not want to invest in that. Um, 
but as you have more income, you can reinvest it. Um, my state makes it very easy to renew it every year. That's not the case in every state. Some states are much more expensive. The paperwork is much more onerous. So that's why I like talking to an accountant who lives in your state and understands it because they can tell you like, you're going to need to have X amount of revenue each year to really support continued paying for this to make it worth it. Um, so that was one thing I would say. All right. So do you need an LLC to be an author? No, you do not need one. You may eventually want one, but you don't need to slam on the brakes for everything to make sure that's done first. That is after there's some income to protect. And in my opinion, talk to your lawyer or your accountant. Okay, what other questions do you have? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, or hit that shiny new thanks button. That tells YouTube that you got value from this information and they can put it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.